In a time when Athens was at its height, a philosopher emerged, challenging the status quo and forever changing the course of Western thought. This is the story of a man whose fervor inspired generations to come. We will explore the audacity with which Socrates confronted the Athenian elite, fearlessly exposing their intellectual shallowness and hypocrisy, and how his unwavering commitment to the pursuit of truth, wisdom and justice eventually led to his tragic trial and execution, an event that caused his name to forever be engraved in the sands of time. Socrates' method of inquiry, known as the Socratic method, revolutionized the way knowledge was imparted and forever altered the landscape of education as he believed in the power of questioning and critical thinking. Join us on this captivating journey as we unravel the life and legacy of Socrates, a philosopher who defied convention, challenged authority and forever changed the world of philosophy. Socrates, an Athenian citizen, was born in 469 BCE to Sophronisus and Phanerite. His father, a stonemason, instilled in him the values of hard work, integrity and critical thinking. Driven by his thirst for knowledge, Socrates actively sought out interactions with renowned philosophers of his time, including Anaxagoras, Archelaus, Zeno of Elia and Parmenides, all of whom greatly influenced his intellectual development. Socrates' education adhered to the laws and customs of Athens. He received a comprehensive education that encompassed not only the fundamental skills of reading and writing, but also additional instruction in various disciplines such as gymnastics, poetry and music. This well-rounded education nurtured his intellectual curiosity and prepared him for the pursuit of wisdom that would come to define his philosophical journey. Socrates is renowned for his distinctive teaching approach, commonly known as the Socratic method or method of refutation. Rather than relying on conventional lectures, he engaged his students in thought-provoking dialogues, challenging their assumptions and guiding them towards self-discovery. Through the use of probing questions, Socrates aimed to uncover contradictions and stimulate critical thinking. The Socratic method of argumentation often began with seemingly simple questions, leading the interlocutor to underestimate the depth of inquiry. However, as the dialogue progressed, Socrates skillfully guided the conversation towards a complete reversal of initial beliefs. His primary contributions lay not in constructing complex systems of thought, but in dismantling false common beliefs and promoting individuals to recognize their own ignorance, a position from which they could embark on the pursuit of truth. A typical Socratic method followed a pattern. Socrates would initiate a discussion on a particular topic with an acknowledged expert in that field, often in the presence of young men and boys. Through the dialogue, Socrates would demonstrate the contradictions inherent in the expert's belief and arguments, inviting them to reassess their positions. In essence, the Socratic method embodied Socrates' commitment to fostering critical thinking and exposing the fallacies of prevailing knowledge. Socrates, amidst a society governed by rigid social structures and unquestioned authority, fearlessly questioned the status quo. He directed his scrutiny towards the Athenian elite, including politicians, poets and sophists, exposing their lack of wisdom and ignoring their own limitations as he shattered the illusion of infallibility among those in power. In his defense before the Athenian court, Socrates recounts the tale of his friend Chaerophon, who was informed by the wise Delphic oracle that Socrates was the wisest of men. This statement perplexed Socrates, for he was acutely aware of his own ignorance. However, he resolved to uncover the truth behind the proclamation. Through questioning individuals esteemed for their wisdom and self-proclaimed expertise, Socrates concluded that he was wiser than they because he recognized his own ignorance, while they, equally ignorant, falsely believed themselves to be absolutely wise. Socrates' audacity to challenge authority manifested in many ways. 
intellectual humility. Socrates advocated for genuine wisdom through acknowledging one's own lack of knowledge. By engaging in dialogues with politicians, poets and sophists, he exposed their lack of true understanding. Socrates' relentless questioning and unwavering pursuit of truth compelled those in positions of authority to confront their limitations and recognize their intellectual deficiencies. Moral Accountability Socrates insisted on holding those in power accountable for their actions and decisions. He openly criticized the Athenian political establishment and interrogated the prevailing moral values of society. He prompted individuals to critically evaluate the motives and actions of their leaders, fostering a sense of moral responsibility among the populace. Unfortunately, this aspect of his approach was seen as poisoning the minds of the youth. Challenging Social Norms Athenian society was entrenched in social hierarchies and rigid norms. However, Socrates defied these conventions and questioned established beliefs and customs. He challenged traditional notions of justice, virtue and piety, urging individuals to critically examine these concepts and seek deeper understanding beyond societal expectations and cultural norms. Exposing Hypocrisy Socrates fearlessly probed the motives and intentions of politicians, poets and intellectuals, compelling them to confront their own inconsistencies and double standards. By illuminating their intellectual shallowness and moral incongruities, Socrates revealed the gap between the idealized image of authority and the reality of their shortcomings. Inspiring Independent Thought the Socratic method of teaching fostered independent thought and critical thinking. By engaging his students in thought-provoking dialogues, he challenged their assumptions and encouraged them to question authority themselves. This approach empowered individuals to think independently and develop their own capacity for critical analysis. Socrates' unwavering quest for truth ultimately led to his downfall. In 399 BCE, he was accused of impiety and corrupting the youth, which resulted in his trial. The accusations were instigated by a poet named Miletus, who sought the death penalty on the grounds of Asebia with additional accusers named Anitus and Lycon. Initially, he defended himself against the charge of corrupting the youth. He argued that he had never intentionally corrupted anyone, as doing so would risk being corrupted in return, which would be illogical since corruption is undesirable. Regarding the second accusation of atheism, Socrates sought clarification. Miletus reiterated the claim, prompting Socrates to highlight the contradiction between atheism and worshipping false gods. He asserted that he was, in fact, a gift from the gods to the Athenians, as his activities ultimately benefited Athens. Thus, condemning him to death would be the city's greatest loss. Despite his eloquent defense, Socrates was found guilty and sentenced to death by drinking hemlock, a highly poisonous plant. Instead of fleeing into exile, he chose to accept his punishment, considering it an opportunity to uphold his principles and serve as an example to future generations. Socrates' influence on Western philosophy is immeasurable. His teachings passed down through his renowned student Plato continue to inspire thinkers today. His emphasis on self-examination and the value of questioning one's beliefs remain relevant across various disciplines, including ethics, politics, education and law. His impact extended beyond his own time. Virtually all subsequent philosophical movements can trace their roots back to him, such as Plato's Academy, Aristotle's Aristotle's Lyceum, the Cynics and the Stoics. Antithenes, for example, held a deep disdain for material possessions, believing that virtue was the only thing of importance. Diogenes and the Cynics continued this line of thinking. Aristippus maintained a skeptical stance on epistemology, asserting that we can only be certain of our own feelings. This perspective resonates with Socrates' understanding of ignorance. The Stoics heavily relied on Socratic ideas, employing the Socratic method as a means to avoid contradictions. They assigned virtue a pivotal role in attaining happiness and emphasized the connection between goodness and ethical excellence, both of which echoed Socratic thought. Meanwhile, the philosophical tradition of Platonism regarded Socrates as a predecessor, particularly in ethics and the theory of knowledge. 
Arcesilaus, who assumed leadership of Plato's academy about 80 years after its establishment, significantly altered its doctrine to what is now known as academic skepticism, centered around Socratic ideas of ignorance. Socratic thoughts also found their way into the Islamic Middle East alongside the teachings of Aristotle and the Stoics. Socrates was celebrated and admired for his integration of ethics with his way of life, possibly due to the resemblance it bore to the personality of Muhammad. Islamic scholars adapted Socratic teachings to align with the principles of the Islamic faith. They believed that Socrates put forth arguments supporting monotheism, emphasized the transient nature of this world, and highlighted the concept of rewards in the afterlife. His influence in the Arabic-speaking world continues to the present day. In the early Italian Renaissance, figures like Ficino and his followers viewed Socrates' admission of ignorance as a recognition that all wisdom comes from God. They depicted Socrates in a sacred manner, drawing comparisons to the life of Jesus Christ. In contemporary times, Socrates has been revered by continental philosophers like Hannah Arendt, Leo Strauss and Karl Popper as a symbol of individual conscience. Kierkegaard also held Socrates in high regard as his teacher and model. Hegel and other German philosophers of the 18th century regarded Socrates as a crucial figure in human history, credited with introducing the principle of free subjectivity or self-determination. His specific influence on the areas of ethics, politics, education and law are Number 1. Ethics He emphasized the importance of self-examination and the pursuit of moral virtue. Socrates believed that happiness could only be achieved through a life of moral integrity and the cultivation of wisdom. His teachings laid the groundwork for ethical philosophy, inspiring subsequent thinkers to explore questions of morality, virtue and the good life. This has served as a guide to individuals in their moral decision-making. Number 2. Politics Socrates challenged the prevailing political structures of his time and encouraged individuals to critically evaluate the actions and motives of their leaders. He believed that those in power should be held accountable for their actions and decisions, and that the well-being of the state depended on the wisdom and moral integrity of its rulers. This has fostered discussions on democracy, justice and the responsibilities of both citizens and leaders. Number 3. Education Socrates revolutionized the field of education through his unique teaching method known as the Socratic method. Rather than lecturing or imparting knowledge, Socrates engaged his students in thought-provoking dialogues, challenging their assumptions and guiding them towards self-discovery. The student-centered approach emphasized critical thinking, questioning and the pursuit of truth. Socrates' emphasis on active learning, inquiry-based education and the development of independent thought has had a lasting impact on education educational practices. The Socratic method continues to be employed in classrooms around the world, fostering intellectual growth and encouraging students to think critically and engage with complex ideas. Number 4. Law Socrates' legacy in the field of law lies in his unwavering commitment to justice and the pursuit of truth. Despite facing an unjust trial and an unjust sentence, he chose to accept his punishment rather than compromising his principles. Socrates' willingness to challenge the authority of the state and question the validity of laws that went against his moral convictions highlights the importance of individual conscience and the moral duty to resist unjust laws. His example continues to inspire discussions on the relationship between law, justice and individual responsibility, prompting individuals to critically evaluate the ethical implications of legal systems. Socrates was a fearless seeker of truth and a staunch advocate for intellectual integrity. His Socratic method challenged the norms of his time, inspiring generations of thinkers to question assumptions and explore the depths of knowledge. Though condemned to death, his enduring legacy is felt across various fields. His teachings on ethics continue to shape discussions on morality and virtue. In politics, his ideas on governance and accountability remain influential. The Socratic method revolutionized revolutionized education, emphasizing critical thinking and self-discovery. Lastly, his commitment to justice and the pursuit of truth inspires conversations on the ethical dimensions of law. Socrates' influence transcends time and continues to guide our understanding on various fundamental aspects of human society.